Hello, everyone. This is Phone Transformer, the channel where we help you transform your phone into a better device. Today, I'm going to show you how to fix server and reachable on Android, which is a frustrating problem that prevents you from accessing your favorite websites or online services. Server and reachable means that your phone cannot communicate with the server that hosts the website or the service that you want to use. This can happen for various reasons, such as a bad internet connection, a server downtime, a software error, or a network issue. In this video, I'm going to show you four simple steps that you can try to fix this problem and get back online. Step 1. The first thing you should do is to open the Chrome app on your phone and check if you have a good internet connection. You can do this by typing any website address in the address bar and see if it loads. If it does, then your internet connection is fine. If not, then you need to troubleshoot your internet connection. You can do this by turning off and on your Wi-Fi or mobile data or by resetting your network settings. Step 2. Restart the server. If your internet connection is fine, but you still cannot access the website or the service that you want, then the problem might be on the server side. Sometimes, the server that hosts the website or the service might be offline or overloaded, which prevents your phone from connecting to it. To fix this, you can try to restart the server if you have access to it. Step 3. Force stop the software. Another possible cause of server and reachable on Android is a software glitch on your phone. Sometimes, the browser or the app that you are using to access the website or the service might have a bug or cache issue that prevents it from connecting to the server. To do this, go to Settings, scroll and tap on Apps, click on Manage Apps, find the browser or the app that you are using and tap on it. Then, tap on Force Stop to temporarily disable the software. After that, tap on Clear Cache and Clear Data to delete any temporary files or settings that might be causing the problem. Then. Restart the software and try to access the website or the service again. Step 4. Try a different network. If none of the above steps work, then the problem might be related to your network. Sometimes, your network provider or your firewall might block or restrict access to certain websites or services for security or policy reasons. To fix this, you can try to connect to the server using a different network, such as a mobile network or a different Wi-Fi network. You can also try to use a VPN or a proxy service to bypass any network restrictions and access the website or the service that you want. That's all for this video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more phone transformation tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.